Well, let me just start by saying a big heartfelt thank you to Iowa and Iowans. Thank you so much. And let's just start with this. Aren't you glad you live in the freedom-loving state of Iowa? A state that's rooted in faith, freedom, and hard work. I want to tell you, it has been uh, the honor of a lifetime to have the opportunity to serve as the governor of this amazing state. And it's even um, a greater honor to be given the opportunity to serve you for another four years. It's been an incredible campaign, and as we've traveled across Iowa, we told Iowa's story. And I'm excited to say to you tonight that we are not done, because the best is yet to come. From the very beginning, uh, this campaign has been about Iowa. It's been about you because it's the people of Iowa who make this state what it is, hardworking, innovative, committed to each other. You know, I want to recognize my opponent, Deidre Dejir. Uh, I have a lot of respect for anyone who is willing to stand up and put their name on, a on the ballot. She worked hard, she traveled across Iowa to take her message to the people, and while we have our differences, we both want Iowa to succeed and that's how it should be. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the campaign, we're all Iowans and we're all in this together. So you know the story too. Um, these last four years, we've faced a lot. We've faced uh, some significant challenges, floods, uh, a worldwide pandemic, a derecho, tornadoes. I think we went back and did a little more flooding, a little more drought, uh, and so much more. But I think one thing that we've shown is that Iowans can do anything when we stand together and our state, of course, is better for it. So now we are ready for the next challenge. And once again, I can tell you without hesitation, we are going to exceed expectations. I want to take a moment, too, to thank my family. I've got most of them uh, here tonight, and I certainly wouldn't be here without uh, those standing behind me. My mom and dad aren't with us tonight, but we, had, we were able to have a dinner with them earlier. So I want to just say a heartfelt thanks, mom and dad who are watching at home. Thanks for um, teaching me the values that uh, I live by today. I love you to pieces. I'm glad we were able to spend some time with you uh, earlier today. I'm also blessed to be the mom of three wonderful daughters, three son-in-laws, 11 very active grandchildren. What do you think there, August? Many of them weren't still awake last year, or four years ago, when we were able to be uh, recognized as the winner of that race, so I'm glad uh, that they're able to, to join us here today. And of course, um, Kevin, um, I want to just thank you for always being there. The first dude, how lucky are we to have this guy? He's always been there for me, but not just me, for um, our entire family. He is an amazing husband, an amazing dad, and I'm telling you, he's probably the favorite grandparent, too. I think the kids love Grandpa Kevin uh, a lot, so I just want to say how much I love you, and thanks to all of you for always being there for me and kind of helping me get through some of the tough times. So let's give my family a round of applause. Lieutenant Governor, thanks for being an incredible partner through all of this. Thanks for being on this journey with me, and I'm looking forward to uh, having you continue to be that partner for another four years. I couldn't do it without you, so thank you very much. Best Lieutenant Governor in the country, right?
And I want to thank my uh, entire team. I don't know, I think they're over here. I don't know where they're all at, but both um, the campaign team and the official uh, campaign. You know, I've always said that it's really important to surround yourself with the very best. And I am telling you, with both of these teams, I have the very best. I love you all. You have worked so hard. I have been so proud of what we've been able to do over the last four years and what we'll continue to do um, over the next. So I'm very, very blessed um, to have an, an incredible team. Can we give them a round of applause too? Well, we're going to keep this short because I'm excited to continue to watch tonight to see the results uh, come in and see all the strong, freedom-loving candidates who are going to be joining us. So the fight uh, for you at the local, state, and federal levels, uh, they're ready to go. They're working hard to have the opportunity to continue to serve uh, Iowans. So our message for you tonight is this. We are not stopping. We are not slowing down. I am so excited to get back to work and to lay out a bold conservative agenda and to follow through with what we say we're going to do. I can promise you it is going to be an agenda where you keep more of your money, where our schools are thriving and all parents have a choice, where your government works for you, not the other way around. I'm going to say it one more time, and I've been saying it as I've crisscrossed the state, uh, that the best is yet to come. God bless you. God bless Iowa. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to serve. All right, that uh, was Governor Kim Reynolds uh, with her second a major four-year term under her belt tonight. Not a huge surprise here for the crowd, but certainly they're very excited uh, that her announcement uh, was made uh, earlier this evening when AP called uh, that um, uh, role. And now, of course, um, uh, things are going to change here uh, with a new uh, governor in uh, the office, and she's promising to do more of what she's done in the past. And that is, of course, uh, uh, save on taxes and continue her conservative agenda. Uh, we were able to talk to uh, Governor Branstad, where uh, Governor Kim Reynolds learned much of uh, her political expertise. He was in the building just a couple of minutes ago. We asked him about uh, how she won and uh, what he did to, to help her out with that. Let's hear from uh, Governor Branstad. Well, she's done a great job. You know, a lot of other governors locked their states down. She kept Iowa open. She kept the school, we got reopened the schools faster than any other state. She kept businesses open. Uh, she's helped diversify the economy. We have the strongest financial position we've ever had in the history of the state. And that was uh, Ambassador Branstad, former governor of Iowa. As we listen to him, we're reminded that, uh, you know, he w never lost an election, and Kim Reynolds is on her way uh, to, to doing that as well. Right now, uh, she is still in the building with her family, uh, taking some congratulatory um, handshakes and uh, applause. And, of course, there's a lot uh, of other Republican candidates here hoping to uh, also share a victory, but those numbers have not come in yet. Things are still pretty close, and we'll be here watching that coming up tonight. Steve and Stacey.